in New York in February of last year, 2015, at the New York Chamber Music Festival at Symphony Space, one of the most prestigious um, concert halls in New York. And um, we have collaborated for this year. We met uh, not long before that and uh, decided that it's a great concept to bring uh, forward the to to um, stress the point that uh, sharing uh, sharing sharing the treasures of each other's music culture and uh, amalgamating them and uh, respecting them is uh, something that is uh, very worthy of performing, presenting, and educating the young generations with. And um, we recorded this program. And um, the CD, Soul Strings, was um, initially released in America in September of 2015 by the label Affetto, distributed by Naxos, the very respected uh, American label. And um, is now this week being released, the long-awaited uh, Indian release of this CD by Times Music uh, in collaboration with Afeto and Naxos. Namaskar, good morning. It's a great uh, honor for all of us to be here. Thank you for coming. Sorry for the delay. So, Soul Strings, like Almira said, it, uh, it, the whole journey started in... February last year, we performed together at Symphony Space, and uh, the initial plan was to release the recording of that concert, but sometimes on stage, uh, uh, because there are no retakes on stage, everything happens there, it happens for the audience sitting there, but for something to listen to at home or uh, as a release, you know, we re-recorded the entire concert, and uh, it's been one of the very, very memorable collaborations. And I think what is extremely unique uh, for me here is that, you know, violin being a bow instrument and sarod being a pluck instrument, I mean, this collaboration itself is a challenging uh, uh, platform. And then Western classical music with its tradition of uh, a written score and performing music of great composers and the Indian tradition where we are all improvising and there is no written score. So for us to come out of our comfort level and for Almira to come out of her comfort level, I think that is, we have found a new comfort level, I think, with Soul Strings. And I'm just very thrilled that we are performing uh, these concerts in India. We had a very memorable show in Delhi. And uh, Mumbai being the music capital, I think, of India, I think we're really looking forward to performing this evening. Namaskar to all of you. And once again, sorry for the delay. Well, um, I think Almir and I have covered most of it, but uh, I would like to say when you talk about collaborating, uh, lately what's been happening, uh, it's all about um, too much of uh, loud music, or it's not about two Indian instruments and four Western instruments, and you put it together and it becomes a fusion when it's it, it, it just too much of a noise. I'm not saying that what we are doing is the best, but we are, that's that's where we, we, wo we are working towards that. But I feel uh, when, when we talk about Western classical and Indian classical instrument, to start with, it's acoustic. Uh, Western music is all about acoustic, natural uh, sound from the instrument as to plugged instruments or to uh, plug a sarod. So we're enjoying the natural sound of these instruments. So, and I think uh, it's more melody oriented than just loud, uh, going very loud and going noisy. Uh, and we're not playing just to, um, you know, we're not playing to the gallery. We're trying to create some good music and going back what it used to be back in the 40s and 50s uh, when Indian musicians used to collaborate with Western classical musicians. So um, uh, please, uh, I would uh, invite all of you this evening, if you all are free, and don't have too much uh, work pressure, please do come and uh, experience this beautiful uh, amalgamation of uh, music. I think also what's very important is that with any, there's just so much work is happening, people are doing some great uh, projects, but I think just performing together is not uh, the answer. What you are doing together, it has to be collective. 
and what is the role of one performer, the other performer, the third performer. It needs to sound beautiful. It has, there has to be a connection. There has to be a journey to any, any kind of a, a collaborative project that you're doing. So in this case, I feel very happy to see that there is a destination, there is a journey, and we are taking different routes. And we've tried our best to, uh, I think, uh, make this as collective as possible. Well, also, on a more global uh, level, this um, confirms how, with all the differences that we have as artists, because we're totally different in all kinds of aspects. We're from different gender, different age groups, different places of origin, different religions, different backgrounds, different upbringing, different musical systems. Uh, and yet, the differences do not, do not divide us, they actually unite us in this quest for amalgamation and for collaboration. And the final result, the final result which is the magical music that ensues, is what, what matters. And these results are what we strive to achieve and um, in our goal and our mission to bring beauty and the magical music to the world. We are happy that uh, we are collaborating and uh, we hope that we are succeeding on, on all kinds of levels, not just musical, but also in other aspects. Yeah, I think she made a, Almira made a very important point that, that I think we are very fortunate that music actually unites the world. I mean, in times that we live in, whatever is happening all around the world, it's so unfortunate. So I hope through music, uh, we can give out, convey the message through projects like this that, you know, we are all one big family of uh, human beings and I think we should just eat, pray, love and play music. Any questions? If you'd like to ask, yeah. Firstly, let me congratulate you on uh, doing such a beautiful job. Thank and you. And Elvira, you rightly said that the treasures of each other are uh, to be respected, amalgamated, and you are uniting the world with music. That's an excellent thought. So, having said that, I just want to know, since when are you collaborating? Since last year, how many events have you done together? And how was the response? And which are the places that you have already? Our first, um, our first collaboration was exactly a year ago, February of 2015, in New York, at the New York Chamber Music Festival, which takes place in Symphony Space, a prestigious, very prestigious concert hall in New York. Uh, that's when we first rehearsed it and performed it, and that's when we understood our minds musically and in every other aspect and decided that, uh, that this project has great future, so we immediately set out to record it and Soul Strings is the fruit of that first collaboration. And um, a year later now, we are performing Soul Strings, this same program, which consists um, of um, compositions by Johann Sebastian Bach and Ustad Amjad Ali Khan. Uh, we, perfor we performed it several days ago in New Delhi, and tonight we're performing this same program here in Mumbai at the National Center for the Arts a great hall that I have only seen pictures of, but I'm so looking forward to, to it because it is a world-class uh, jewel box of a hall. Uh, and we also have some plans for performances in, in the United States. Um, in April, we uh, are performing this program in New Jersey, and other concerts are right now being in the process of organizing, and we hope that we could take this a long way, this whole project. Great. Uh, over the years, the classical music has evolved and there is a lot of change that has gone through. So could you just, I think uh, we, it's uh, it'll be justice only when you hear it out. <laughs> but still, if you could say something in words. I think classical music today, we feel very happy to see is really on the top of the game. Uh, I think this art form has very uniquely and organically always reinvented and reformed itself with every passing year, every every decade. And I think today, I mean, off late, we've been we've performed the season so frequently at so many colleges, and we went IIT recently at St. Xavier's in Bombay. And it just feels wonderful to see the 
the presence of the younger generation at classical concerts. And that just makes me believe more and more that this generation really values and respects, you know, the roots. And though so much is happening today, but I just feel very happy to see their involvement in, uh, in the classical concerts. The other question that Ayan, uh, Ayan and I keep um, uh, facing is that, you know, what do you think of the future of Indian classical music? Do you think um, are the youngsters inclined towards it? Well, you know, I always say that the genre is never to be blamed. It's the musicians. It, like, today, if I t take an example of Ghazals, Ghazals are Ghazal has always been a very integral part of our society. Concerts used to happen. But after those few big names, we don't have young Ghazal singers. It's not that Ghazal has finished. It's just that they're not good singers. So there was a time in Indian classical music where you had the greats of uh, people like Ustad Adamjad Ali Khan, Pandit Avi Shankar, uh, you know, Pandit Harip Sachaurasi, and all these big names. After that, I think, came in a period where, I don't know if people were connecting, I don't know, but there was a problem. I'm not saying that we are good, I'm not saying that at all. It's just that I think musicians are responsible for any art form, any fine art, the, the people are responsible, the genre is not responsible. If movies are going down, it's because they, they are not good actors. If it's going up, that means they are good actors. So it depends on the performers more than the, uh, the, uh, the field. Also, music has the role of uh, transporting the audience and lifting, lifting the listeners away from their everyday worries or problems and um, enriching their day and their existence, even if it's for just five minutes or just for the duration of one raga or for 30 minutes or for the duration of one concert. And this is a very noble mission that we musicians um, strive to do, to transport people and to enrich them and take them away and make them better and uh, just be there for them for human beings. <coughs> so I hope you all will be coming for the concert this evening. I know it's the other end. It's a nullman point. <laughs> so please, uh, but it'll be, it'll mean a lot to us to have all of you there. Yeah, there are CDs of Soul Strings. Um, oh, okay, wonderful. you would all get also. Thank you. 